If you didn't get your fill of politics during the presidential race, well, get ready for Omaha's mayoral election. Tonight, for the first time, we put the candidates head to head on a single issue, the restaurant tax. And if you're hoping it goes away soon, don't pop that champagne cork just yet. City records show the restaurant tax will bring in $1.6 million more than expected, adding to the budget surplus. It's a tax people eating out in Omaha still pay. Mayor Jean Stothert wanted to eliminate during her successful first run for mayor. As your mayor, I'll continue to fight to roll back Jim Suttle's tax increases. Yes, I still look at the restaurant tax because it is one tax I still see as unfair, but I made the decision to do pro two property tax rate reductions during my first four years because I felt like that would greater benefit the taxpayers in Omaha. The city surplus is purely based on the restaurant tax that brings in over 30 30 million dollars a year. Just because Stothard's opponent Heath Mello sees reason to eliminate the tax doesn't mean he's planning on immediately repealing it. I would be foolish to come out and say I'm going to repeal something that I full well know without looking into the city finances the way other candidates and other mayors have in the past to make a bunch of promises that in four or five months I simply can't keep when I become mayor. Mayor Stothard says she kept her promise to lower taxes but found cuts she considered more effective. I could have taken it from two and a half to two and a quarter percent in 2017. I didn't think that quarter percent on that two and a half percent that goes on the bill is really going to make that much difference in somebody choosing to go to a restaurant or not. So if the restaurant tax is going to be a deciding factor how you vote in this mayoral election. I hate to have to be the one to tell you, but you're going to have to have your cake and eat the restaurant tax too. We're live downtown. Dave Roberts, KETV News Watch 7.